heart of the Australian summer, I found myself on a long-haul drive from Sydney to Melbourne. The heat was relentless. Even as the sun dipped below the horizon, the air remained thick and heavy. The monotony of the journey was only broken by the occasional truck stop, a beacon of civilization in the vast, desolate landscape. One night, I pulled over at a particularly isolated truck stop. The darkness was all-encompassing, swallowing the feeble light from my truck's headlights. There were no other vehicles in sight, no hum of engines or chatter of weary travelers, just an eerie silence that seemed to amplify the isolation. I parked my truck, a late model rig in pristine condition, and prepared for a restless night in the sweltering cabin. I turned off the lights, drew the curtains, and locked the truck from both sides. I climbed into the narrow bed, setting my alarm and placing my phone in the compartment above me. Despite my exhaustion, sleep eluded me. The heat was suffocating, and the silence outside was unsettling. I tossed and turned, my mind filled with the tasks of the day ahead. As I lay there, staring at the ceiling of the cabin, a sudden noise shattered the silence. The passenger side door creaked open, the cabin light flickering on. My heart pounded in my chest. I sat up, my hand instinctively reaching for the solid rod we used for tightening belts. I waited, every nerve on edge, for the intruder to reveal themselves. But no one came. The silence returned, deeper and more ominous than before. After what felt like an eternity, I grabbed my torch and climbed out of the truck. I circled the vehicle, the beam of the torch cutting through the darkness. But there was no one there. No sign of any other vehicles or people. Just me and my truck, alone in the darkness. Confused and unnerved, I returned to the cabin, locked the doors, and tried to sleep. The events of the night played on a loop in my mind, but eventually, exhaustion took over, and I fell into a fitful sleep. The morning light brought a sense of normalcy. I rubbed the sleep from my eyes and stretched, ready to start a new day. I opened the curtains, expecting to see the familiar sight of the desolate truck stop. But what I saw made my blood run cold. Right next to the truck stop, just a stone's throw away from where I had parked, was a cemetery, an endless sea of tombstones, silent witnesses to my night of terror.